What's up guys? Welcome to my office. My name is Francis and welcome back to the Rugged Tyros. If you're new to this channel, a Tyro is a beginner. Come with me as we learn and explore the great outdoors. This is the story of how I broke my four day skunk. So there's a lot of names for not catching fish, but skunked is what I believe is the most widely known. One thing all anglers have in common is getting skunked one time or another. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they're probably lying. This is why they call it fishing, not catching. So I wish I could tell you this story is about how I slayed fish left and right and I walked away victorious all the time, but I'd be lying. I had an amazing beginning of the season. I'm basically a weekend warrior fisherman because of work. I had plans before this recent holiday ended to put out amazing slaying videos. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. So because of that, I felt like I needed to focus on breaking the skunk before I headed back to work. Get up, stretch my legs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Start my day. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast. All right, guys. Well, we did a walk out back of my truck. I'm getting my truck. We checked the thickness and the depth of the ice. So now we are gonna go get on the ice. So with all the bad luck that we've been having on our home lakes, we decided to try a new lake, Buck Lake. Attention anglers, know your sport fishing regulations. So before you go out on the ice, always remember your regulations, what you're allowed to keep, and make sure you know how to handle your fish. Wow. So after unloading all our stuff and setting up, we decided to drive our trucks back because the ice was super sketchy. Gorgeous day on this lake. Well guys, the bite's pretty slow, so we'll see what happens. This is our first time on this lake, so we have no clue if there's gonna be any action or not. Uh, we might move later, but right now we wanna try our luck in this spot. Uh, there are a few shacks in the area, but not anything like Gull Lake or Sylvan Lake. While we were fishing, I noticed the sound of a quad coming straight toward us. I looked outside. Fish and wildlife. So fish and wildlife just wanted to make sure that we were following COVID restrictions and also making sure that we had our licenses. This officer was actually really cool. He gave us some advice on where he thought that other anglers were catching after he saw how unsuccessful we've been for this last little while. Well, we're gonna move spots. I didn't wanna drive the truck on the ice again because it just felt a little iffy. We were told by fellow anglers, in order to beat the skunk, you have to keep moving. Now's our chance. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly where a guy can park, but probably not directly on this road and probably not anywhere off to the left. Or sorry, the right side. Alright guys, well I'm just sitting in my chair, still no bites, at least for me, um, Randy may have gotten a bite, we're not 100% sure, or he took like half of the minnow, so, but yeah, this is a different lake and here we are. <laughs> I don't know what to say man, it's like so uneventful. <laughs> All right guys, so we're pretty much done. Um, we're headed home. It's a beautiful lake. Like I said, I'd come back, but like it's slow. But I guess everywhere is slow right now, like fishing. 
Good morning guys. So my last few trips were a bust. So today I'm kind of out for redemption. I learned a few new tactics and hopefully, hopefully they pay off. I got a minnow. The leader on a glow. You've got to be kidding me. This guy just got here. Alright guys, I'm on the move again. That was kind of what was uh, given to me as advice was move spots. Don't just stick around in one spot. Other than that fish that Nick caught, that's the only action I've seen today. Maybe a few things on the screen and some swipes at some of my lures, but nothing major. So we're gonna, Randy and I are headed to a different spot and then we're gonna try that out and see what happens. Alright. So we're out here truck fishing. I'm gonna have Rocky's poop bags attached to this so there's always constant movement on the line. We got another line dropped over there. And yeah, this is where we moved to. If I'm cooking, it probably means there's not much going on. Well guys, we're on the move again. We'll see what happens. There wasn't much action going on here, so. I had a couple quarters pull up next to me, ask me how the bite was. I said it's slow, and then these guys were saying that they're veterans. They've been here for so many years, like up to 20 years, and this is the worst they've seen it in the last like two or three years, so. Well guys, it is now 4.30 and we still haven't caught a fish. The sun is down pretty much. And yeah, nothing. We've moved at least four times today. We've moved at least four times today and still nothing. So I don't know, like I'm, I'm kind of at a loss right now. Well guys, it's five o'clock and there's still no bite. I pretty much packed up a lot of my stuff, but yeah, there's not much going on. I'm so sad. I have my good luck charm with me. I have Rocky with me. After four days of getting skunked, today is redemption day. Today, I'm going to a different lake that I've never been to before, but I'm very hopeful. And this lake, I'm pretty sure produces. So we'll see what happens. What's up guys, we're here on Pine Lake. Never been here before, and I was fortunate enough to meet up with my buddy Reed here. Hi. He gave me his top secret location, so we're gonna fish it out and see what happens. This is Delilah. She's like the number one Canadian fisherwoman ever, so you guys watch out, okay? She's coming home with like tons of fish. She's like, oh. <laughs> No, I'm not afraid to touch the fish. I'm wearing a glove because my hands are so severely cracked. Well, it's been a couple hours. So nothing yet. 
so I think we're gonna move around a bit. I'll truck fish a bit before I set up. promising. There's a point here and we'll see if we can fish it. All right it's two o'clock on the fifth day and I'm still hopeful but the other part of me is also still sad. Reed and Delilah might have to go because Delilah's been up since the wee early hours of the morning. Reed and I were just discussing like how bad it's been lately. He's getting a little impatient himself. I'm just hoping for anything, something. Whoa, 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 whoa. In all the suspense, I'm just glad Reed had his cell phone. <laughs> Look at him. Finally. Yeah. Not that I know what it feels like to win the lottery, but I definitely felt like I won the lottery. We are hardcore not skunk. He may be tiny, but this is a win. Yay. You gonna go? All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy I caught that thing. <laughs> the bell barely rang and I jumped out of the truck just to get to that fish, so yay. Skunk is off and I can go home happy that I caught something, so yay. So yes, this little guy here is definitely my lucky charm, huh, buddy? Well, we've definitely had more success chuck fishing than we did sitting in the shock. One fish so far. That's all we caught. Home time. I'm home. I'm home. Five days of fishing and not catching anything it really takes a lot out of a guy <laughs> but I'm glad I'm home I'm glad I caught something it may just be one fish but was it worth it oh yeah you bet it was worth it this has probably got to be one of the slowest years in my time fishing Alberta waters I honestly can't say for sure what it is I've asked Everyone from regular day-to-day -day anglers to professional anglers, what's going on? And no one has a real answer. I've been told by people that it's the influx of new anglers this year and lakes are getting outfished. But again, I can't say for sure. I don't want to make up excuses. I've tried new tactics and some worked. Uh, some have got me some attention, but, but I wasn't able to land anything. So all in all, I think I just have to try harder. I always just keep in the back of my mind that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day of work anytime. So as some of you know, and some don't, I'm a full-time graphic designer at a print shop. As well, I run a creative studio out of my home. My time has actually been really focused on that lately. So I apologize for the lack of posts. But I'm still going to produce awesome outdoor content. So don't fret. I know a lot of my videos are mainly fishing videos, but the Rugged Tyros is more than that. Right now we're just in ice fishing season, so that's kind of more what you'll see right now. As an introductory to more outdoorsy type things, I did just recently take my PAL course and hope to be hunting by October this year. In the near future, I plan to do some videos on some of my favorite recipes in regard to cooking fish the way I like it. Basically, I'm just going to do some of my favorite recipes. So look out for that. I also plan on taking a few camping trips this year. I'm looking forward to that. On that note, 
Before I end this video, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Connected to the Land. Connected to the Land was created to bring Canadians together during a time of isolation. Connected to the Land has articles and videos on a variety of topics including gardening, recipes, DIYs, hunting, and ice fishing. Don't forget to check out Connected to the Land's podcast to hear how everyday Canadians are connecting to the land. I hope you guys found this video as entertaining as I enjoyed making it. If so, please share this video and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then that bell icon for more notifications from the Rugged Tyros only here on Tequila Creative. It's free to do and it really helps me out. I wanna start building my subscribership. And I thank you guys that have already subscribed that keep watching my videos and keep giving me that awesome feedback. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.